If the steam demand is increased beyond the limit of the boiler's maximum steam generation rate, even for a very short time, problems can occur with both carryover and low boiler water level. In fact, it's not uncommon for a boiler to shut down when overloaded due to the low level alarm operating. To explain this, watch what happens when the steam demand is gradually increased to just 15% above the boiler's maximum rated output. As expected, the drop in pressure is causing the bubble surface to rise and the conditions are becoming more turbulent due to the formation of flash steam. Water is soon drawn into the steam takeoff, but this time without the demand moderated. The turbulent bubble level continues to rise, swamping the camera pod, leading to near continuous carryover. None of this is apparent in the gauge glass or the protection tube because they are measuring virtually bubble free water, and the water at the top of the boiler consists mainly of steam bubbles. The measured levels begin to fall as water continuously flashes into steam in the boiler's attempt to satisfy the excessive demand. Eventually, the first low level alarm is triggered. This shuts down the burner and the bubble charge water drops very rapidly. It soon becomes apparent how little water is left in the boiler. So little, in fact, that the stay bars become exposed. This demonstrates just how important it is to keep a boiler operating within its design parameters and the need for reliable, accurate level probes.